Hello everyone, my name is Ben and today we will be looking at the GGWish package of the R language. So let's talk about the R language a bit, then we will start. What is the GGWish package and what can we do with it? So firstly, the R language is a programming language used for data analyzing and statistical calculations. GGWish is a package for a data visualization in the R language. GGWish GG offers to the users opportunity to create interactive and attractive graphics. Before you start using the GGWish, you might need to learn R and uh, how can you we use it with the Art Studio. So, uh, if you don't know, you can get a basic training of it. Then, you can start using GGWish package. You must first uh, install the package of it in the R. So, let's start. You can install the package named ggwish with this command install package ggwish. I already installed so I'm not going to use it. So, let's talk about the library ggwish. The library is can be is an activator is an activator of the packets which you write inside of it. So I'm using the ggwish for that because I need to activate before using. So what can we do with the ggwish? What can we do? The data visualization. The data visualization ggwish allows you to turn your data into graphs. Okay. The, for example, the empty car ggwish rmp with layer points so the layer points is an activator of the gg wish it's a creating a graphics for us so the vt which i write is the downside of it and the mpg is the upper side of it so let's look okay as you can see is a created a graphic for right there it's, uh, showing the cars and there is a map power of them but is a bit of basic we can change it customize it so let's look the customizing part the customizing graphics ggwish offers a number of uh, options to cop customize your graphics so for example if i change it to it to there i added the filling with red and the size will be bigger so as you can see the size is much more bigger and the color is changed of the dots so you can customize it change and other things there is a many many of commands but it's a basic thing of it there's a basic it's a basic thing so and we can we can create an interactive graphics how? Let me show you. Using this command, we can create a interactive graphics. So let's run it. Okay. That's a dynamic resolution, as you can see. It's an interactive graphics, but it's a bit of the same the previous one which we did so what's the difference you can download it like a cvg or cvg and the canvas file tip types that's an uh, a bit of interesting because it's all about the downloading it and you cannot use anything about it so you cannot change the dot types, you cannot change there, you cannot change you can't change anything, you only, you can only download it. It's a CVG file and you can't you can use it anywhere you can it anywhere. So let's talk about the last part. Okay. These examples which I show is the basic type of it. There's a more more you can also explore other functions that ggwish provides creating more complex graphics but we are not going to show it because 
which I said is a complex. These examples which I showed you is the basic uses of the GG wish. But there's a more complex uses for it. For example, you can change the cause in the interactive graphics. You can modify it. You can do another things. There are the complex things, but we're not going to show it today. But remember, it's important to learn our language first because it's a complex normally it's a complex package you need to learn about the basic graphics of the R studio basic things of the R studio then you will you can start the basic things of the GG wish package you cannot go into the complex so be rem remember it so if you want to learn more about the GG Wish package, you can look at the documentation part of a GG Wish. Alright, thanks for listening to me. We talk about the basics of the GG Wish package today. See you next time. Bye.